what's up guys this is my exclusive nxt prediction with the one and only the major nxt fan the one that everyone knows the one and only izzy what's hello. up hello what's up kimmy how are you good how are you are you gonna be there sunday well depends on covid test um I, it's so weird like today I was like man I feel like crap today like what if I have it but like I because like I'm just like really tired I've just been like running around so like hopefully but I think I'll be good I'm I, I hope I get to go and now I'm noticing how pale I look because I have a ring light and I have an, another light I look like a ghost y'all I promise I'm not as pale <laughs> I promise just look at her other video she's fine yes <laughs> oh my god this thing is so bright what is going on <laughs> I filmed the video today and it, it looks beautiful, but okay. The lighting always messes everyone up. It's fun. It does. So we'll start with the only championship match on the card. We yes. got Leon Ruff. We got Johnny Gargano. We got Damian Priest. Triple threat match. Ruff looks so strong in that tag match this past Wednesday. Who do you think is going to take away the North American title? Man, I feel like Leon Ruff has really been, like, safe for the past couple of weeks. You know, first of all, Damian Priest helped him win the title in the first place. You know, like, um, you know, we saw, like, this past week on NXT, he teamed with Damian, you know. So, you kind of – Damian's a great wrestler, and he has a lot of experience. And I don't feel like Leon really has that experience yet. So, I kind of think it's going to be a rude awakening for Leon – and that's why I foresee Johnny somehow picking up the win, you know? Even though I was talking about Damien, I feel like Johnny somehow is going to get the win and is going to bring home the North American Championship, well, I, which I will be very happy about because I love Johnny. I mean, who doesn't love Johnny? Are Ghostface is going to interfere and help him with the win? Ooh, I foresee that. I really hope we do get, like, an unveiling of the, the Ghostface. But, like, I don't know because we did it with Indy Hartwell but who shall we? I don't know. I, I don't have anybody, like, I don't know. I was thinking Velveteen Dream because he hasn't been around, so. It's NXT. Be. You never know. But okay. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to disagree with you here. Oh. I'm going with Leon Ruff. I feel like he finally has the momentum. Once he got that North American title, he wasn't really used on NXT beforehand. He was just chosen in that match by Johnny's favorite thing, wheels. I love wheels because of Johnny Gargano. I have a couple in my house. <laughs> so I feel like he needs this win to keep that momentum going into 2021. I think he has some fresh feuds on the horizon with more people getting signed to NXT on the daily. So I'm going with Leon. I'm going with the underdog. No, Johnny is going to win. He just, there's something about, I have a good feeling that Johnny, you know, he's, I think he's really out for revenge. And, you know, when, like, both Garganos, both Candace and Johnny are out for revenge, like, nobody can stop them. You know, I feel like Johnny is still angry after he lost that Halloween Havoc, even though that was last month. Like, still, like, no, it's actually two months ago. I'm sorry. I don't even know what month it is. Two months ago, he's still angry about that. So, you know, it's like nobody can get in the way of Johnny Gargano when he is out, well, when he's a man on a mission, you know, to be honest, nobody can. Watch, we're going to be both wrong, and Damian Priest is going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you touch on Candice, and with that, we'll go into the women's war game match. We have Team yeah. Array, Team Shotzi. I'm going to go with Team Shotzi here. I feel like now that they finally got their team together and they got that advantage, I feel like they're going to win it. They're stronger than ever with a returning Ember Moon. You have the NXT Women's Champion. And even though Loray has Hartwell, and maybe we'll see her involved since she's, you know, it, done it before I'm going with Team Shotzi I'm going with the good guys for this one okay so I actually agree with you and I definitely see Candice and her team you know getting a few wins like throughout like you know eliminating people and everything because that's no I'm sorry I don't know why I said eliminated because it's not an elimination <laughs> match my bad but like I definitely see them dominating like most of the match but I feel like at the end Shotzi and her team are really going to pick it up and pick up the speed and find a way to like work all together you know, to be honest, um, I kind of think the way they, like, brought in everybody for Shotzi's team was a little bit lazy. You know, like, to be honest, most people don't have social media. You know, you're catering to a little kid that's, like, watching NXT and then, like, 
Rhea Ripley is walking out with Shotzi, unless they showed like the clips of them like joining forces and everything because they didn't show it at the Capital Wrestling Center. But overall, I think Shotzi and her team are really going to pick up the win. You know, like I said, like they're all, they all have like a chip on their shoulder. You know, Ember, she she's pretty much been beaten up by Dakota Kai multiple times in the past few weeks. Io Shirai has a huge grudge with Candice LeRae, Rhea Ripley, you know, she's always has a chip on her shoulder. And Shotzi, her beloved tank is gone. So you But know, I, I think guess- we saw not mean to interrupt you, but on NXT, yeah, yeah. You know, Ripley and uh Ember showed her something. I wonder what like they did the video and they're like, Are you ready to go to war? And she's like, Oh my oh, god, god, I'm in love. So is that another tank? I see it being another tank. I think it would be really cute. And unless, like, all of them are going to come out in little tanks. That would be kind of cute. I, I would love that. <laughs> they just go to, like, the, where, like, I don't want to call it a cage, but, like, where they stay before they, like, go out. Yeah, the like, they'll, Yeah, they'll ride oh, to it in the tank with their little helmet. <laughs> I feel like that needs to happen. <laughs> Hunter, book it. And yes. And speaking of Hunter, too, I'll go to what he said in his media call yesterday about Shotzi. Since Halloween Havoc, we've seen her just dominate on a whole different yes. level. So I feel like she has something to prove. And I definitely feel like after this, going into 2021, maybe on even the last NXT TakeOver, not TakeOver, NXT episode before we get to 2021, her versus EO for the title. Yeah, Shotzi has, like, had, like, her chances against EO. But I feel like now she has really gotten experience she keeps on learning she's being more polished every time we see her in a match so you know I just like definitely feel like that we're gonna see her versus EO like some some point before 2021 or at the beginning of 2021 and I feel like Shasi is actually going to win but I, I shouldn't make a big prediction right now because the match has not yet happened none of this this is just early predictions people none of this is even and to close it out, we got Undisputed Era. We got Team McAfee. I'm scared of who you're going to predict. I feel like you're going to predict the people I don't want to win. So, um, you know, the Undisputed Era have really been, you know, dominant, like, in War Games. Like, War Games is their match. I mean, like, put a label on it, sticker it, you know, Undisputed Era. Like, that's their, like, whole match. And so – you know, Pat McAfee, he has never been in a match like War Games. You know, I don't think he really knows what's coming for him. But looking at his team, you, know, you have Oni Lurkin, Danny Burch, Pete Dunn, the Bruiserway Pete Dunn. You know, I feel like all of them, like, like the whole, like, War Games fits their mentality perfectly, just like those three. So I think Pat McAfee is really going to be able, like, to protect himself and is going to have extra insurance with Pete Dunn, Danny Burch, and Oni Lurkin. So I kind of see... Um, the brand winning, you know, for the first time, they're, they're going to be um, the Undisputed Era's streak in war games. It's going to be ended. It's going to be gone. Everybody's going to forget about it. And hey, the brand is going to be looking good. No, yeah. there's so many problems with this. So the like, this is a new Undisputed Era. I go back to what they said on Wednesday, when they all went out to dinner, they all need retribution. The last couple of weeks, you know, the uh, Riley, O'Reilly lost to Balor um, in the main event of the last takeover. Adam's been beaten up by everybody. They need, a, they need that new edge. They need this win. And I know War Games is this match. This is the first time they don't have the advantage, and that's where, you know, McAfee has it. But I feel like McAfee isn't trained for this. He's had one match that I admit it was okay. He surprised me a little bit. But I feel like that's not enough. He needs just because he has, you know, the tag team chance and just because he has done, it doesn't ensure a win for him. I think it's going to be a good match. I think we're going to see some solid wrestling, some cool spots, but I got my guys. I got, I got Cole. I got O'Reilly. I got strong. I got, I got the UE. All right. Well, and also I know a lot of people have been speculating like WWE and NXT really has to like wow us because a lot has been happening in the wrestling world outside of NXT. So, like, they really need to, like, surprise us in a way. You know, I'm always surprised. You know, I'm always excited. But I kind of want to see something new. And I really feel we're, we might see Finn Balor join forces with the Undisputed Era. You know, somehow one of them is going to be injured. And, hey, you know, Finn Balor ends up being, like, I don't know, the impromptu 
guy for their team. You know, I definitely see that happening, but you never know. So I feel like that would be a really smart business way, like for NXT, just looking at it business wise, like I said, you know, but hey, you never know. I always like change. And if Finn Balor is a part of the undisputed era, I am all here for it. I agree. I definitely think with the shock waves of what this week has been in lots of promotions. Yes. <laughs> I think they definitely do well. And they have some good matches. You know, we didn't touch on the other two matches because, you know, these are the three matches I feel like everyone's really looking forward to. But I feel like every takeover, they have that chip and they succeed. Mm -hmm. And to wrap it up, I will ask you, what was your reaction to what happened at the end of Dynamite this past Wednesday? Oh, so I actually watched it last night because I was at NXT. Um, You know, I, I thought it was interesting, like, but honestly, like, I don't have the willpower to watch Impact, you know, like, I, this is to sound weird, but I'm very busy, you know, Tuesdays, I film the hot tag, so, you know, like, I'm not gonna have time to film, so, like, that's the thing, but, like, what I, like, and I see where other people are coming from, and, like, everybody's, like, 100% right, it's, like, you can't, like, access TV is special access, you know, it's a, it's not like you can just go on your TV, and it's, like, TNT where you can just like watch it you have to like specifically buy it I didn't really know the whole process but like I'm not going to do that just to see Kenny Omega cut a promo to be honest so I definitely I know a lot of people are like oh we can just watch clips on YouTube so I definitely see myself doing that but hopefully on AEW Dynamite they show some clips of like what happened on Impact but overall I thought it was cool it was a great way to branch both brands so we shall see what will happen I joke that I watch wrestling backwards because I started watching TNA before I watched WWE. So for the first time ever, I'm watching TNA in 10 years. And I'm not, I'm like, what is this? What am I doing? I know. I, I haven't, I've never been into Impact. You know, the only time I have watched it was for Tessa Blanchard because, you know, she's my girl. I love her. So like, you know, that was like the really the only time I watched it. I used to watch it as a kid, but maybe this was a great way to really get people to buy Access TV and to watch Impact, smart business move, you know? That's what I'm thinking, too. I think it's definitely a a positive. It's going to be interesting to see what they do. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah, that's our predictions, peeps. So make sure to like this video. You know what? Do you mind if I do the outro? Yeah, you can do it. This is all you. Awesome. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me and Kimmy today on our little NXT War Games prediction show. We just explained the three matches that we are most excited for, and that is Leon Ruff versus Johnny Gargano versus Damian Priest for the North American Championship, and the two War Games matches that are going to be stellar. So make sure you check out War Games that will be on the WWE Network at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Like I said, WWE Network, $9.99. (laughs) Make sure you subscribe to Kimmy's channel. She is producing some amazing content and make sure you go check it out. Also go check out my YouTube channel. It's Izzy Mania where I have my show, the hot tag for you, NXT and AEW. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye guys.